Hello there, I'm Amy Williams, and I'm so happy to be leading you on a nature hike related to your emotional health. I love being out in nature, and I love sharing how nature can connect with your emotional well being and how you feel about yourself and relate to other people. Today, I wanted to talk about something that's near and dear to me, which is loving yourself and caring for yourself. So every person on this planet is worthy of love, is, is unique, and meant to express yourself in unique ways. And one of the ways that reminds me of this when I'm out hiking is to look at trees and how the bark is all different. Like, you can see kind of some big flaky bark. There's a lot of trees here that have this kind of bark. This tree has smoother bark. You can see the contrast. And even though we all on the outside are different, we all have similarities and we all have worthiness um, that we are worthy to express ourselves freely and be who we're meant to be. So when I look at trees as I'm hiking, I often think of what that tree has been through. Sometimes there's some fungus on it. Um, some of us may have had fungus. And um, there can be like, you know, people have etched carvings into trees sometimes. And we know what it feels like to be like hurt. I sometimes have been hurt and actually feel like, like someone actually pierced my heart. So when I see a tree that's been like carved on or hurt, I can identify with that. Look at the beautiful bark on this tree. And so as we walk through nature today and we look at the different trees, I just want to remind you that just as they are all different and they're all similar, they're all trees, right? But they have differences. They're each meant to be whatever whatever they are meant to be, just like we are. So as you stroll around and you look at the different trees and some are different heights, some have different limb structure, some of them have no limbs down near the ground. They don't get limbs until they're way up high. Others have limbs closer to the ground. Um, every tree is different and I just like appreciating that about trees. I wouldn't, I mean, we can have preferences in trees, right? Um, some trees I was reading today actually don't even belong here in North Carolina, like the mimosa tree, which is having beautiful pink flowery blooms this time of year, actually was uh, brought here in the 1700s. It's considered an invasive species and yet it has medicinal qualities. And I was thinking, what is even invasive anyway? Right, like sometimes we say um, somebody's native to an area or, um, you know, we don't welcome in new people, although I know this can be a political topic, but I think it's so important to realize that we are all connected. And um, I don't know, this is an interesting, conversation like what is invasive even mean like maybe somebody brings something here and like even if they didn't happen if that didn't happen birds can take seeds in new areas and things can be planted and so you know a tree that might not have been um, originally from here in North Carolina lives here now it's beautiful it's expressing itself it has medicinal qualities. I mean, it's not always clear. Um, you know, sometimes it's some people, there's a whole plant society here on Facebook in North Carolina that if you post a plant that's not from here, they delete the post, um, which is kind of interesting. So, you know, there's all kinds of views about trees and plants and all that kind of stuff. But my point today is that we all exist together connected we're all part of this uh, beautiful planet and regardless of what kind of tree you are 
You're just meant to grow and blossom and express yourself the best you can. Now, you know, sometimes we need good conditions. Wow, this tree's had a little bit of a rough time. I don't know if that's a deer that has scratched up against it or what, but, um, you know, some of us trees have a little harder time than others. So I'm going to wrap up our hike today with this thought by one of my favorite um, mindfulness teachers and leaders, Thich Nhat Hanh. He says, if an oak tree were anything less than an oak tree, then we'd all be in trouble. And I love that quote because I like you to put your name in there. If Amy were anything less than Amy, we'd all be in trouble. If Ian were anything less than Ian, we'd all be in trouble. If David were anything less than David, we'd all be in trouble. So remember, you have within you the unique seed and the unique um, purpose to express yourself and to be that big tree or little tree, just whatever kind of tree you're meant to be. And so when you're out hiking, just let noticing the bark on trees and the variation of trees be a reminder of like, hey, I'm meant to be me. If you practice yoga, you can even try the tree pose. But if not, just absorb and see, oh, so many beautiful trees. All right. Thank you so much for joining me on this little hike at Lada Nature Preserve. And I hope you'll come back and join me on another hike soon. Thank you. Bye.